Hi Clive. Nice to see you again yesterday after uh, your week in France. And uh, swing uh, hadn't really changed a massive amount, but uh, one or two of the old occurring problems, like the rest of us, it also always sort of comes back to uh, what feels, if you want to call it, comfortable. So we just need to uh, work on those little bits this week, just uh, as I will explain in a second or two. Um, again, just pop a little bit of a, a wall on your left hand side here. Uh, same with good model to work to, uh, rod pampling, which uh, good looking swing this to uh, have a look at and compare yourself with. Uh, as we said yesterday with the hybrid, uh, one of your new clubs that you've got and all looking very shiny. Ball position here for a hybrid, just a little bit too far back for my liking. I'd like to see at least one ball to your left, um, nearer to your left foot, this direction. Um, you can see here really, um, as a possible result of having it a little bit far back in your stance, uh, the way you look as if you've just got a little bit too much pressure on your right side here. It's almost too much angle really going on. I'd like to see you a little bit more over to your wall, a bit more into yourself on the left hand side. Um, one thing that's good here actually, head position looks a little bit better there. Uh, so you can see the way that uh, left shoulder, left hip, the rod, nicely uh, on the wall there. A little bit of angle with the left side, uh, sorry, with his right side there. Okay, so if we take you um, up to the top of your swing, you can see quite a bit of an excessive sort of wrist action going on here. The first part of your swing. This little bit here. And you can see the way already, the way the shoulders are working. Where your left shoulder looks like it's going down the way. Okay, so if we take right into a similar position there. You see the way that it, look at this wrist action there. There's nothing actually happening at all really, it's just setting the club because it had a good position at address. Okay, so his shoulders are working um, a little bit more around, like so. Whereas yours look as if the left shoulder is just popping down a little bit too much here. And then you can uh, come up and recover it. But I want to really get you into position, especially working on it this week with your left hip a bit more on the wall here, which will keep your left knee a bit uh, closer to this red line as well on the wall. Okay, and you won't have this much of a gap appearing between the shoulder and the wall there. If we take it um, right up to the top there, you can see this way, this, um, left hip, left knee nicely on the wall. Maintain the good uh, position with his uh, hands. And obviously as a result of that, the club is nowhere near as long as yours. I know I appreciate your hybrid, but I think he had a long iron in his hand here. So, you know, we just need to, uh, I, I just, I just, this is where I want to get you eventually, is uh, less sort of wrist action going on at the top here. You can see the way your right wrist is uh, quite uh, angled, left wrist a bit too much cup on it. So ideally I want to get this club so, so it's looking a little bit more like that. There. Okay, and then if we start you down, that's where I want to get you, roughly about there. That sort of position there. That looks pretty good there. You can see the way you're going to come down a bit now. Now you're going to come up a bit. This is where you get the casting effect that we talked about yesterday with your right arm. So you're losing a lot of store up here. So I could almost sort of uh, stand there, just hold your head and keep it in a very central position all the way through the swing. You can see the way actually here that as you come down, see where your left hip's nicely on the wall there. But if you watch Rod Pumpling as he moves down, he gets this bump ahead of the wall. So his pressure's very much into the left side and he's able to really you know, compress that ball. Whereas you're sort of actually staying behind the wall. This is why you get your right arm, right wrist flicking at it a little bit and then you finish with the high arms. Whereas Rod Pampling, obviously he can come around onto the ball, like so. Okay, let's have a look at your good self. Okay, so I'll just make a note of those few points and we'll work uh, on that uh, during the week. Hope this helps. Cheers, bye.